One man has died and 10 people have been injured after a van mounted a pavement near Finsbury Park Mosque. Forensics officers are examining a white van which has Ponty Clun Van Hire on it, a Rhonda Sinon Taft firm. The van driver, a 48-year-old man, has been arrested and Home Secretary Amber Rudd said police were treating it as a terrorist incident. Just after 2420 BST, the van hit people who were helping a man who had collapsed in the street. He later died, but his cause of death is unclear. Police said all the victims were Muslim and the 48-year-old was arrested on suspicion of attempted murder. South Wales police officers arrived at Ponty Clun Van Hire just after 7.30 BST on Monday. A member of staff at the company said, We are not saying anything, we don't know anything at the moment. Welsh Secretary Alan Cairn said he had spoken with the Chief Constable of South Wales Police and was told his team is fully engaged and working in partnership with the London Metropolitan Police as the investigation into the abhorrent attack at Finsbury Park gets underway. Eyewitness to the attack, Abdul Rahman, said the driver said he wanted to kill all Muslims. Mr Rahman told the BBC he struck the man and helped subdue him until the police arrived. Police said the arrested man had been taken to hospital as a precaution and would be taken into custody once discharged. Ms Rudd said, Londoners have been hit with a series of attacks and have actually been nothing short of heroic. In a statement, Finsbury Park Mosque said it condemns in the strongest terms a heinous terrorist attack. It added, this is a callous terrorist attack which coincides with the murdered MP, Joe Cox, anniversary. Mosque chairman, Mohammed Kazbar, described it as a cowardly attack which is no different than the attacks in Manchester and London. The Muslim Council of Wales said it was horrified. A spokesman added, this weekend was declared by the Joe Cox Foundation as a moment to celebrate her legacy that we have more in common than divides us. We urge all to remember her message today. Some witnesses at the scene, near Finsbury Park Station and Arsenal's Emirates Stadium, said more than one attacker may have been involved. But the Met said, at this early stage of this investigation, no other suspects at the scene have been identified or reported to police, however the investigation continues. Extra police are being deployed to reassure communities, especially those observing Ramadan, Mayor of London Sadiq Khan said. Prime Minister Theresa May called the attack sickening, saying it targeted the ordinary and the innocent. She said the early indications suggested the attacker acted alone, but extra officers had been deployed and the security needs of mosques would continue to be assessed. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn said, I'm totally shocked at the incident at Finsbury Park tonight. My thoughts are with those and the community affected by this awful event.